Assassin's Creed Nexus has set the bar for all VR games to come. Is what I hope I'm saying by the end of this video, but I don't know, man. I'm pretty skeptical. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of the OG Assassin's Creed games. Ezio Abitore! And the idea of fully immersing myself as Ezio is literally a childhood dream come true. But I don't know if I'm sold on this whole VR thing. There's been very few games that feel worth investing into a headset for. Until now. Yep, if you're wondering, it is Christmas time in the Stains house. <laughs> Alright, Legends, here's the game plan. I want to find out, does this game look good? Does the story slap? And most importantly, how well really does the Assassin's Creed gameplay translate into VR? Alright, let's do this. What I really want to know is, is it worth the hype? So I'm taking a break from running Minecraft on every man-made device and putting Assassin's Creed Nexus to the test. Let's kick this party off with how this game looks. <gasps> oh, blessings! Oh, sneezing in VR is way worse. Oh. Again, my expectations for VR games tend to be pretty low, but boy, this game looks real solid. Nexus puts you in the memories of three existing Assassin's Creed characters, which means there's three different time periods and experiences to explore. And I like that. It's a dope touch. Oh, hey. <laughs> this looks so good. I've been playing it on and off for like a week and I'm just coming back to it. Man. There's always something new to look at in these environments. And often I found myself forgetting I was in a standalone VR game. Up and up. Look at this place, dude. Are you serious? No PCs here, lads. <laughs> but of course, that does mean it comes with some quirks. I reckon I can get this one. Woo! That is the best feeling, dude. No, 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 no. Oh. This game has a lot of jumping around and stealth, which means you're getting up close and personal with objects and walls, which in a standard game doesn't really matter. It's not like you have your face pressed up against that wall, but VR, you are doing that. Your face is literally pressed up against textures. And let's just say those textures can be a little janky. Yep, that's a pixel. <laughs> And I know I'm asking a lot for a standalone headset, but generally it's not too bad. I can deal with it. Just every now and then it catches you by surprise. But with all that being said, this game looks wild. Even with the Quest LCD display, it's still crazy how immersive the lighting and everything feels. Dude, this place is so big. What the flip? Oh yeah, and a notable mention for the game's use of the mixed reality cameras on the front of the Quest. There's something so wild about seeing a familiar space inside the game. It's so flippin' simple, it's literally just a blue tint, but this has to be some of the most engaging gameplay I've played in a VR headset. So I guess it's safe to say that these graphics are pretty cohesive, they're pretty darn good. Everything feels like it belongs and it makes way for the main event, the story. But how good is the story? Say what you want about the Assassin's Creed games, but the first game will always have a special place in my heart. It was the first game that I ever bought as a young lad. I found it in a discount bin for $10, which is like $3 million now in today's money, right? That's how that works. But if I'm honest, back then I was pretty naive and I thought the internet was a super safe place. Well, I was wrong. It's the freaking wild west out there, man. So that's why I use NordVPN to protect my online privacy and retain a little bit of my innocence. NordVPN makes it super easy to keep my online activity anonymous while also encrypting my internet traffic, making it way harder for those dodgy lads to access my data. It's like my very own sheriff. Cause again, the internet is the wild west, man. I mean, even a few weeks ago, I was at an airport connected to the public Wi-Fi, and something just felt wrong. Switching on NordVPN gives me a ton of confidence. Plus, it can bypass location restrictions, which means I can watch Bluey from anywhere in the world. Don't judge me, Bluey is an Australian icon. So if you want to protect yourself online, keep your data safe and access content wherever you are, head to nordvpn.com slash Zachary to get a two year plan plus four months free with a huge discount. It's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. Huge shout out to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's dive in on story. I've been playing this game on and off with pretty low expectations. I don't want to give too much of the story away in case you want to play it. But you're a hacker who has been hired by Abstergo, but you're also working as a spy for the assassins. And your goal is to relive the memories of three key assassins to find a missing artifact. Yep, classic Assassin's Creed story. <laughs> Now, in the past, I've found it really hard to get invested into the stories of VR games. There's a few out there that I've really enjoyed, but nothing's felt close to that AAA style of storytelling. And honestly, without a solid story, VR games start to feel pretty novelty. So does Assassin's Creed Nexus get there? Well... I mean, almost, kind of. There is so much to do in this game. It feels so full and vibrant. Is vibrant the right word for story? Yeah, why not vibrant? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. I never thought, oh, I'm going to drive one of these flipping, is this a canoe? What is this? I'm a man of culture, obviously. <laughs> and I think it's safe to say that this game is complementary to the main Assassin's Creed series. And it feels like around every corner, there's a new puzzle or a new weapon that you just weren't expecting to see. Yo, <laughs> dude, this freaking game, man, bro. 
Every time I feel like my expectations have been met, this just happens, and now I'm just reliving my childhood again. This is craziness, dude. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Uh, the game isn't necessarily open world, but it's still easy to feel overwhelmed by all the nooks and crannies you can explore. Look at this place, man. And there's absolutely a level of freedom in this game that makes exploring so much fun. And look, getting to be Ezio made my whole freaking year. And seeing a bunch of characters from the Ezio trilogy, ah man, just is so good. A bunch of times I found myself wanting to jump back in and play more. And that's a big deal for me. <laughs> oh, it's this one. Oh, let's go, that's so rewarding. Oh my gosh, how does this game get better and better? What the heck? I mean, there's very few VR games that get me excited like this, that make me want to jump in and see where the story is about to go. One of my favorite moments was being Cassandra and exploring through a temple, and I felt like Indiana Jones. It was the best, it was so simple and so good, but I wanted to finish that level, I wanted to finish that map. Could there be more depth to the story? Sure, but I hate to use the excuse that this is a VR game. But it is, you really only have 30 to 45 minutes of playtime just because of the literal battery of the quest. So you're probably not gonna grind this game, but as far as story experience goes, things are looking pretty good for Assassin's Creed Nexus. But there's one crucial factor left to explore. Is gameplay good or nah? Look, I'm no expert, but as an average VR guy, of course, I want the game to look good and absolutely it needs an engaging story that just sucks you in. But think about this. When you talk about gameplay on a console, what you're really talking about is somebody's inputs with a controller and what those inputs do in game. But it's kind of crazy with VR, you're actually talking about what the physical inputs do to play a game. You have to physically do actions to progress in game. That's freaking wild, it's freaking wild. And although it's a little quirky at times, I am very impressed by this game's gameplay. Man, don't get me started with the whistling. It's so freaking good. I can distract enemies just by whistling. It's just like real life. <laughs> It's the future. But seriously, gameplay in this game is great. And like most of the original Assassin's Creed games, it's built on like these three mechanics of stealth, combat, and parkour. Now, as you can probably guess, I'm less of a stealth kind of guy and more of a run in and cause a big mess kind of guy. But stealth in VR kind of slaps. Maybe it's because you physically get to hide behind boxes or peeking over rooftops feels like it has a lot of stakes, like there's actually something to lose if you get seen. But I love being stealthy in this game. And combat is also really good. Can I get that guy? Yes. This freaking game, dude. Are you okay, sir? There's a ton of ways to take out enemies in this game. Okay, I've probably played a couple of hours of this game and I'm still learning new things. Number one, the game is already introducing like new things like smoke bombs. Freaking sick. But I also just realized I can do this. Holy crap. Of course I can throw it. Why wouldn't I be able to throw it? How could I have been so skeptical? This game is literally out of control. But if I'm honest, that's not why you're gonna play this game. It's the parkour. Parkour and free running in this game blew my mind. Oh yes, let's go! Oh boy, satisfying. Oh. I'm not even kidding, there have been so many times where I've been playing as Ezio, running across those rooftops, and it just threw me back to being a kid playing Assassin's Creed 1, but on another level, because VR. You're fully immersed in this character, and you get that feeling in your stomach when you jump from building to building. At first I thought it was going to make me feel sick, but actually it's so smooth. That's when I realized the full potential of what VR could be. It's just a taste. It's just a hint. It's a dream come true, dude. What the heck? So, uh, yep, as you can probably tell, it's worth the hype. Or maybe I'm just a fanboy. Either way, just get it.